What's up guys and welcome back with some more Honkai Impact and today I'm checking out Elysia and I don't know anything about the character. I obviously don't want to know anything about the character until it's time to, but we are just going to try her out today just like some other characters. New past. So we have attack, QTE, and ultimate evasion and weapons and team synergy. And if you enjoy this video be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff as it is always greatly greatly appreciated. And if I sound a little bit different, it's because it's pretty, like, early in the morning. <laughs> it was pretty early in the morning. I was waiting to record some Genshin stuff, but I think I woke up too early, so I'm like, hmm, let me get this Honkai video out. But yeah, it should be interesting going into this pretty, well, well blind in general. Okay, so Miss Pink Elf is a Psy-type bow wield. Really? If you would have told me this was a bow wielder, I don't... Huh. I don't even think about that. They could attach crystalline seeds to enemies and cause them to take more physical damage from her attacks. Okay. Interesting. Oh, she is quick. Miss Pink Elf could have up to 400 infatuation and restore 30 per second. With 100 or more infatuation, hold the attack and you'll cast your charge shot cupid's bolt okay oh charge shot cupid's bolt does not reset the count when detonating crystalline seeds with a hundred infatuation or more hold attack after evasion to cast charge shot Cupid's Bolt with an increased crit rate. Okay. So, boom. Interesting. And then you could, like, mix it up, like, boom. Okay, I like the variety in there. So you have the evade, and then charge, and then charge. And then you have the, the normal, and then charge, charge again. And you obviously have the flurry of attacks. Okay. Let's do that one more time. Yeah, it's, I mean, pretty simple. I mean, it looks nice though. Got a lot of, <laughs> got a lot of pink going on. Huh? Okay, so far so good. Yeah, I didn't know she was a bow character. I mean, I don't know what I was really expecting, but I wasn't thinking of a bow character. Hmm. Pretty good though. Definitely pretty good. And then QTE and ultimate. All right, let's see what she's doing. Putting her with Kiana. I'm trying to think, what would her ult be like? It's gotta be something quick. I'd be very surprised if it was like just one big charge shot or something like that. Night moon, uh, night moon beams, active evasion can trigger a global time fraction. Okay. When we switch over, time slowed enemies can trigger Miss Pink Elves QTE, which attaches four crystalline uh, seeds to enemies hit. Okay. And then uh, the ult. So her ultimate triggers flawless dome. While the dome is present, the stage timer is paused. Casting ultimate after using a weapon active costs less SP. Okay. She has a theme here, like Cupid, love, Valentine's Day, <laughs> something. Okay, uh, when Flawless Dome is active, Infatuation caps at 600. Oh, so that bar goes up. So I guess you build that meter up, and then from there, you're doing a bunch of charge shots or something. Do a lot more damage. With Infatuation or more, with 100 Infatuation or more, hold attack after evasion to cast charge shot. Cupid's Bolt with an increased crit rate. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. I think I get it, simple enough, right? Okay, so... You go like this. Okay, good, great job, Keith. And you go like that. Pop this real quick. You know what's funny? I'm like, hmm, I don't think it would be one big charge shot. That's exactly what it ended up being. So you could just keep going with this. So you just, like, try to mix it up in different ways. Oh, that, that, that is a crazy looking, like, force field, though, or whatever you want to call it, like, 
barrier. I think it was very visually appealing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That was that was pretty nice. It was making me think of some Kingdom Hearts stuff, you know, like the like the mirror not the mirror, but like the glass background, you know, that would have like the pictures of the characters. You guys know what I'm talking about if you've seen Kingdom Hearts. That's what it looked like to me. Okay, so let's do this one more time. Oh, I stay forgetting that I have to wait. Okay, so boom. Boom. Go in there. Big shot. Yeah, that really does remind me of some Kingdom Hearts stuff. And then you could just... One, two. Or you could do... Then one, two. Or just one, two. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I mean, I like her. Definitely do. Like I said, a lot of pink. <laughs> Definitely a bunch of pink going on. That's what my eyes are seeing this early in the morning. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of pink. I mean, uh, pink isn't one of my favorite colors, but I mean, I don't hate pink. You know what I mean? I don't think it's visually appealing. Makes me think of like, what is it, like some cherry blossoms or something? That's that'd be correct to say, right? Okay, so her ultimate evasion triggers three seconds of global time fracture and restores 100 evasion. Alright, there you go, do a little flippy dippy. Weapon skills. Whisper of the past could boost the wielder's charged attack damage and creep damage. Okay, so... I noticed that a lot of her attacks, it's... Like, a lot of stuff is increasing her crit, now that I think about it. And the weapon active creates an explosion on hit and leaves behind a force field that slows enemies, really. When cast by Pink, uh, Miss Pink Elf, it can spread crystalline to nearby enemies. I don't know why I put an accent behind certain things. <laughs> okay, so that's what that does. And then, yeah, I could do the charge shot like this, of course. Like, I was doing with like Raven and Fischl and any other bow user. Uh, the crosshairs turn red when they're aiming at an enemy. Weak spot, yep. Got it. So basically slows them down, and then I'm able to do a charge shot on them. So I hit them with this, and then I can do like one, two, go in there, one, two, three, four, whatever. And then from there, okay, yeah, let me let that bar fully go up. Please do take your time. Okay, I, I forgot I could just fill it up. Okay, so something simple as this and then boom Yeah, she's quick and straight to the point though, but I I think she's clean very very clean I, I like the bow users in this game a bunch, you know I feel like when people think of bow users, they think, oh, they're not going to be, like, that crazy or whatever, but the bow users in this game are all very, very quick. Which I think is good. So that I could appreciate very much. Right. I think this is actually one of, like, the simpler tutorials I've done compared to some other characters that, like, they do some completely crazy stuff to the point of where I'm getting confused, okay? <laughs> I've been messing up a few times, but we'll see right now. I mean, typically at Team Synergy is when I get super confused. Ah, we've got Yata. <laughs> we've got Yata back with us. Good old H-O-S, right? Her sure sentience. Been a while since I played as her. I won't say that. And whenever she comes back, I'm gonna have to get her. I don't know when was the last time that she came back. But that's a definite pickup. Okay. Uh, we will now show you how to unleash Miss Pink Elf's full potential with Team Synergy. Alright, uh, her sure of sentience casts a sword combo attack to trigger Miss Pink's Elf's QTE and unleashes an ultimate to boost damage taken by enemy. What the? My bad. I didn't realize my mouse was on the other side. Whoops. Okay. So, unleashes an ultimate to boost damage taken by enemies. Uh, okay. So, what happened? Because I don't remember how to play as her show sentience. Did, do I just have to hold on to B and then cast her ult? Okay, so then Miss Pink Elf cast her QTE. 
weapon skilled and ultimate. Okay, so we swap her in, you hit X with her, and then Y. Okay, it brings down that. And then cast in Starlet Astrologo. Astrologos. QTE and ultimate followed by evasion and charge attack. Okay, so then her QTE. And then you cast your weapon skill and then charge attack. Okay. I mean, it's early as hell. I'm gonna try to replicate what just happened. It's just reading the text and then, like, if I just saw it all happen at once, I'd probably have a better chance of remembering it than them stopping it on each part. But I'm gonna try. Okay, here we go. So, something like this. Then we go over here. Then we go over here. And then... I think I actually did that right. For the most part. Wow. <laughs> did I actually do one of these like on the first try? Like I felt like I did that correctly. I brought her share sentience in. She did a charge attack. She did her ult. I switched over. Did the ult for good old pink elf over here. And then from there I went to the version of Terry, right? Got the QTE, and then I did the weapon skill, and then I did a bunch of charge shots with the pink elf. Yeah, we good. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just like, I was processing. I'm like, wow, I, I actually did it. I'm, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'll take it though. Yeah, it's it's crazy. Like I feel like I say this all the time when I do these trials, but like, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I enjoyed this character, which. Once again, I have to say for, like, Honkai, I'm very, very impressed with you. Because I don't know how you have so many characters, like, that I actually want to play as. Like, the only few battle suits, like, I'd say for characters that I wouldn't want to play as, is, like, a few Himiko battle suits aren't that exciting, and a few Bronya ones, and maybe some Kiana ones. I mean, is there good Kiana battle suits? Yeah, for sure. Definitely is. But, like, there's a few of them that we know aren't that great. But other than that, like a few here and there, I'd say the large majority of battle suits in this game, I very much do enjoy. So, good job to them for that. Very much so. But, uh, yeah, this character's in the shop right now. But I'm not gonna pull for them, I don't think, right now. I think I could get them for free. I think somebody said that in the comments, so I think I'll just end up grinding for her, get it for free, etc, etc. I mean, right now, if anybody's wondering, I am grinding to get Fischl to S rank, so that's where any of my currency is going for the time being. And then also, speaking of another bow user, Raven, I'm trying to get her to triple S, so we're on the road for that. But if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know and I upload, or I'm actually live streaming on the channel. Description box below, Discord server, Twitter, TikTok, where I sometimes post some funny stream clips and stuff. And that is about to eat. My mind went blank for a sec. I'm not going to lie. It's early. But yeah. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Stay safe. And as I always say, don't do crack. Be sure to subscribe to the Special K Experience if you enjoyed this video. If not, you're going to Femboy IHOP.